this is my project this is the user and uh, front front page of my project uh, right now i am running my project in my local host itself and as i said earlier my project consists of mainly two panels one will be admin panel and another will be student panel once the admin uh, configured each and everything then only student can able to access that's why i have kept some login credentials and here is the dashboard here um, admin can able to explore that means uh, in which department how many students have been accessed how many students have been configured i mean uh, how many students have been uh, given the feedback and uh, how many students have been uh, uh, giving given the feedback and how many students are in pending through this we can able to get that uh, particular access and in the upload student data panel here we can able to upload the student data without um, going into the database uh, database interface that means in, uh, basically we are going to push the student data by opening the mysql workbench or mysql shell likewise but without um, intervention of those data we can able to push student data from our uh, website only in the specified format that which i have given below and the configure mapping this is the root page of the application from here only should uh, admin have to configure each and everything like academic year department semester total number of students and they can able to append the item if it is required that means uh, he can able to make sure when he have uh, taken the feedback likewise and he have to queue each and every course what are the name of the faculty and each and everything he need to configure from here itself and uh, once it has been configured it will be reflected in this page so far i have taken five feedbacks i mean uh, five configuration five department feedback i have configured if it is not required we can able to remove this from here itself and ultimately we can able to get the reports from here only and the reports are uh, going to be get in multiple factors like consolidated report or detailed report inside consolidated and detailed there will be multiple factors like if you want all faculty we want department wise if we want faculty wise you can able to take anything let me show one demo in faculty wise for consolidated report here i can able to select the academic year let me select one faculty name these faculty names are going to be fetched dynamically uh, when the student configured from this page let me show one faculty report for demo the reports will be downloaded in the form of pdf this is pretty good and it is the consolidated report for one particular faculty and uh, this total score and the rating will be dynamically calculated by the software um, by which i have given from formulas i hope this is very optimistic if any college faculty use this uh, particular thing and uh, as i have shown here um admin can able to access how many students have been submitted to the feedback so for zero students i have configured three um three members i mean uh, three departments um faculty three departments feedback here is showing three and no students have been submitted or uh, let me show that one student will submit then it will be con um, converted into zero by three to one by three let me sign out from here and here i have kept one advanced feature that is uh, login with google why because um that uh, um feedback system will be highly quality no student will um, give the feedback on uh, twice or price that's why if i kept a google login that will um, encounter if student logged in once again When I enter my password, it will automatically fetch my details based upon my role number that which I have used my college domain um, domain email. When I click on mail ID, it will open my feedback. And these details are dynamically fetching from the database. And uh, these are also fetching from the database dynamically. And then let me fill this form for demo purpose to show you. Here I have kept the each and every field as mandatory field. If I forgot to fill anything, that means that means if I consider I am as a student, I forgot to fill at least one field. When I try to submit, it is asking that 
some fields have been missed if you fill each and every field then only it will go to submit still i have left a few things and when i click on submit it will automatically log out even when i click not click on log out button within three seconds and if we see here before it is 0 by 3 now it is 1 by 3 likewise it is going to be increment automatically and also as i said earlier if one student already given the feedback when the same student try to give the feedback once again he is not able to permit to give the feedback that means you have already submitted your feedback now this is all about my project thank you so much